what's going on? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Got some more Palm Pre coverage for you because, well, it's what people keep asking about. So we'll keep telling you about it. Don't worry. We got, you know, I still got a full review of the NV Touch for Verizon coming. So you Verizon users, you know, stay tuned. Also, NV3 coming soon. And so, uh, you know, working on other stuff also. But the Palm Pre is hot. People want to know about it. And so here you go. Uh, we're going to take a look right now at the media players, the music and video players, and the process of syncing uh, music and video and also purchasing music from the Amazon MP3 player. And we're going to start out with a look at the uh, much fabled iTunes Sync. So I've got iTunes running on a Mac right there, and I've also got it running on a Windows machine right here. So let's hook it up to the Windows machine first. So here's the Palm Pre micro USB cable that comes with the device. And uh, we'll hook it up into a free USB port. And you can see on the pre now I've got three choices Media Sync, USB Drive, or Just Charge. So, USB Drive will mount the device as a USB storage device and you can manually move stuff back and forth. But I want to see how Media Sync works with iTunes. So, I'll hit Media Sync and I'll go into Media Sync mode. Now, one thing I do not like about this is that uh, when you're doing Media Sync with the Pre, you cannot receive calls or text messages. And I just think that's kind of silly. I hope they fix that in a firmware update that comes out soon, because um, I, I don't know of other smartphones that behave that way, and, uh, you know, not so good. Anyway, so here we go. Now you can see on my Windows machine here that uh, it automatically installed some new stuff and it's asking me do I want to restart my computer so yeah you know it's the way Windows is so we'll give that a second alright so we're restarted and uh, iTunes is booting up you can see the pre is still in media sync mode in case you're wondering this is the uh, Verizon version of the HP mini netbook um, it's a loner it's not mine. I want everybody to know that. So here you go. Verifying Palm Pre and Palm Pre shows up in the sidebar as a device and uh, it looks and acts just like an iPod. And look at that. It even gives you the iPod logo, Palm Pre, capacity just under 7 gigs. So there you go. It's funny because you can check for an update and you can try to restore it and everything which would be kind of funny to do. And so then when you click through and you can see I can sync my music or I can manually manage it, sync my movies, my TV shows, all that stuff. I tried syncing photos before and it didn't work. I don't have any photos on this, uh, this phone. You see the only thing that's grayed out is syncing games. Syncing games is just totally grayed out. It doesn't let you do it. But so I go to the device and that's funny because I have a playlist that shows up but it's not accessible on the device itself. But you can see I have, you know, a whole bunch of music here on the phone. Uh, no TV shows. I believe I should have one movie. Yep, we'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to uh, I'm going to add some music here. We'll add all these live TV on the radio. Cuts. Unless I'm in, uh, I forget, I always hit the wrong button. So, there you go. Drag and drop. Palm Pre. Copying. Now I have this set to manually manage my music. Um, did not set it to auto sync just because that's how I like to do it. But there you go, it's copying the music over. No indicator on the pre, still just media sync mode. But it's all working just fine from iTunes. Alright, and so then just to show you, here's the pre again. And it's in. Alright, and then so just to show you, here's the pre again, back in regular mode. And uh, here's my music, and if I go to artists. I go to TV on the radio, there's a whole bunch of TV on the radio stuff in there, but these live bootlegs I just uh, just synced over, there you go, they're right there, and I can hit it, and it plays, but we'll get back to that in a second, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook it up real quick to my Mac here, so you can just see that the syncing works on a Mac as well. So we're plugged in, and I get the little thing, and I'll go media sync, and I get media mode, and now on iTunes on my Mac, should see here in just a second. 
Now you can see the spinning beach ball, sinking iPod, Palm Pre, right over there. And there you go. Again, it tells me that it's, uh, you know, it's an iPod and it's all hooked up. And everything works. The gaming thing is great out. It says a software update is required to support games, which is pretty funny. And it's also syncing my photos now because I had told it to, man to uh, auto sync photos. So I'm going to X that out and then we'll disconnect the pre. And we will take a look now. So you can see it's kind of resetting itself, saying, hmm, what happened? Did anything happen? And so we'll reset itself now and I will take a look at the actual media player.